Audio Jungle. Hi guys, mega mega love shout out sa inyong lahat. Anyway, I'm here to ayan may nag uh, may nag comment. Ayan tama ba? May nag comment, may nagtanong. Ang tanong ay bakit daw hindi pinapansin ni Pinay Life USA yung mga bashers, ay bashers, mga haters. <laughs> Ah, uh, yun ang tanong. Bakit ko daw hindi sila pinapatulan in public? Um, unang-una, ano ba to? Ano ba ang sabihin natin? Um, I just wanna emphasize yung sinabi sa Biblia na Blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called children of God. Um, I think that's another way to be a peacemaker is to be to um, ignore uh, this kind of uh, level of people. Uh, we don't go down to their level, but instead we go to the high road, which is to ignore and. Um, pray for them that uh, hoping uh, they find peace in their life and uh, they can move on and there uh, they can move on to their life and enjoy this gift of life that um, God shared with us I mean this This is only borrowed life. Uh, we are only pilgrims in this earth. We are not here forever. So, uh, I, of course, like everyone else, I want to say something. I want to defend myself. I wanna... But, sabi nga nila, Haters will be haters, and kahit anong explanation or kahit anong gusto mo makipag peacemaker sa kanila, they will not do that. So, instead of uh, pushing myself with them, I chose to be a peacemaker rather than do a conflict with them uh, there is no positivity by going to their level there is no positive result at all so I'd rather have a peace of mind so I choose to have a peace of mind than to go down to that level of conflict and negative vibes as I've said always have these positive vibes so that positive vibes will come along to our life uh, more blessing uh, more blessing from God I think and I believe ultimately our goal is to Please, our Lord Almighty God. And uh, He will take care of us. He will be our ultimate judge in all the things that we do in this earth. So, that's why I don't go and, uh, and go to the conflict of... Uh, and, Know something, say something. No, uh, you know, I know myself, you know yourself, and uh, if you are comfortable with yourself, you're not stepping to anyone, I think uh, you'll be good at the end of the day. 
your karma is your karma and my karma is my karma so it's not really um, there isn't anything that I mean it's just a moot point to go down and bash non-stop and um, so that's why I choose just to be quiet and I know uh, these people I believe they have a good heart uh, they care about their life they care about their family they're just um, they just uh, what they call this uh, not accepting the fact that they're gonna give up on me so that's why they just keep on pushing and pushing and it's, of course it's a group of people and they want to be into this group of people that uh, try to destroy other people and I think this gives them satisfaction but they know deep down in their heart that what they're doing is not according to the will of God and um, they just don't go humble down to uh, accept the fact that they have to let go but that's why we have to pray for these people so that they can uh, realize or soften their heart that one day uh, they're going to find forgiveness in their heart uh, we are not getting younger we are getting older so uh, I think this is the time and we don't even know when is our uh, when will be uh, there's no uh, we don't know if tomorrow if we will be here tomorrow or not that's why uh, I'm more focused on my family with my children and baby she's so cute and uh, I'm more focused with that I'm more focused on what's important in my heart and that is my husband my children my girls my mother I take care of my mother and that's more important to me than go down to the level of my uh, uh, haters um, or I don't know I believe as Mars Lede was saying the more you hate the more you love so I think I would rather think that uh, okay they probably love me so much that they don't want to let me go oh my <laughs> So I think so that's why that's one of the answer why I don't go and uh, yeah uh, just want to answer that question one uh, followers asked me why I don't go down so that's the question guys but I just want to say that more important is my family and the growth the growing of my channels and of course to help more people uh, back home in the Philippines so the more we do all these live streams the more we put out videos the more that it generates income and then it generates income the more we were able to help people in the Philippines so that's my focus we are so busy right now uh, we work my angels work 24 7 because we have so many of uh, we support so many bloggers around the world that's why that's the focus that's the goal of uh, amazing Pinay and I want to take this opportunity to to invite each one of you on our upcoming um, summit October 16 our first blogger summit in the Philippines uh, it will be held at Glove Filipino so Please uh, join us. I uh, will do meet face to face with the rest of the Pinay Life USA, amazing Pinay Angels, and all the members. I invite all the members, especially the members of Pinay Life USA.
do come and join the event and let's share ideas let's grow together and maybe there are things that we haven't done and maybe there are things that we can learn from other bloggers that can help us grow our channel so that's uh, one more thing that uh, that's we have and I am a BC too by uh, writing a book on my journey on the blogging world so uh, I am so we're so busy so we have upcoming uh, summit October 16 and um, I am writing a book on my journey on the blogging so that's another one and hopefully you know writing a book is not easy it's hard I require lots of help lots of ideas lots of reading so there you go guys that's the first uh, time that I'm gonna tell to everyone all the plans that's in uh, in the making so so we'll be in the Philippines me and Jelana baby and uh, to go around uh, meet uh, my fellow our fellow bloggers in the Philippines and of course hopefully I can meet some of the amazing Pinay angels so and uh, I want to try to swing by uh, uh, and meet Mars today so we'll see guys there's a lot of plans so ayun so blessed are the peacemaker that's my last word and it's in Matthew 5 9 ang sabi niya is blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called children of God so by ignoring our uh, haters detractors is you become a peacemaker and you just let them be and pray for them and maybe they are uh, in the challenge, they're in trial times. That's why they were able to say those kind of words. And uh, that's why we just keep on praying for these people that they will find peace in their heart and forgiveness of their heart, in their heart. So, yun po yun. Ang dahilan kaya hindi po natin sila pinapatulan. We choose peace, yun nga, we choose peace over conflict. So, ayun guys, don't forget, October 16, our first Blogger Summit in the Philippines at Club Filipino. And abangan din niyo po ang aking libro. It will come up soon. Ah, uh, we're just writing it, but I will definitely update you guys kung kailan po lalabas yung libro ng Pinay Life USA. So, that's another one that we are doing. So, hopefully, um, uh, support me and um, support me in our, uh, my uh, YouTube journey. And uh, my advice sa mga bagong bloggers is don't give up, keep on uploading videos, keep uh, sharing on the things that you are passionate about. Share it to the world that what you are passionate and it will resonate who you are and you never know that's uh, YouTube might be your world. The palakay si sikat sa YouTube. We never know. Just keep uh, uh, keep doing what you love doing, and uh, of course, always be kind, be loving, be generous with your time with the other lovers and getting to know more of other lovers. So, hey guys. So, I thank you for listening to my short TED talk and I really do appreciate your time. Thank you guys and I think this is my always say goodbye. I love this. So, thank you guys. Love you.